Thank you for joining us today on HXGN TV. I'm your host, Kyle Phelan. Today we'll be discussing MMS Pulse with Milan Kosick, business, business Development Manager for User Experience at Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence. Milan, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Milan, tell us a little, about, a little bit about your role at Hexagon and Manufacturing Intelligence. Um, I have a sort of a dual role in, at MI, which is I look at how our customers utilize our equipment, how they use software, hardware, and other things. And the other part of my role comes into the aspect of looking other avenues to expand business for manufacturing intelligence, mm -hmm. which would be IoT and other things that we're looking at doing. And speaking of MMS Pulse, can you tell us how that came about? Sure. Um, we had one of those nice ideation sessions. A bunch of people got in a room. Mm -hmm. We put a bunch of post-it notes on the wall. And one of those post-it notes happened to be, can we instrument our machines? Okay. So we tasked one of our engineers, go buy some stuff, put it on a machine. Let's see if this thing works. It worked. And it seeded an idea that started kind of the IoT within Hexagon. And that's what started Pulse. And the basic idea was, as you measure things, mm -hmm. there's four critical aspects that you have to watch out for, which is vibration, crashing of the machine, temperature, and humidity. So what can we do to monitor that? And that's kind of essence of Pulse being born. And you mentioned uh, this is one of the first IoT devices that M uh, HMI has released. What exactly is IoT? Sure, and in, in many aspects, IoT is still an evolving definition, but okay. ultimately, Internet of Things, which is what IoT stands for, is the connectivity between all possible devices that are being put in and out in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not automation, so it's not a robot talking to a CMM. That's not IoT. In order to execute IoT, there has to be an internet component. So there has to be some way of connecting that device to the cloud back to something else. So in essence of Pulse, in our future development, not in a current version, okay. Pulse will actually connect to cloud. Mm -hmm. Cloud will connect to our internal back-end office systems like Salesforce, ServiceMax, and other right. things. When something happens on the machine, it will generate a case in, in that environment, and then it will shoot an alert back to a customer, to service, so we can react and be more proactive in a way we approach services. Because today, when a machine breaks, a customer gets a phone, they call us, a day or two later we show up, then we have to order our parts, mm -hmm. then we have to do a bunch of things. Before you know it, a few days have stacked up and that machine might not be working during that time. With Pulse and the evolution of Pulse as a device, we're hoping that that is essentially a zero. First, we can react immediately, mm -hmm. and in the future, as we analyze this data, we can actually predict when something might happen on the machine. Okay, and as, as we know, customers do come first. And can you tell us how MMS Pulse enhances both the customers and HMI's operation? Sure. So as of today, it enhances their operation because it ensures the quality of their data. So if they're measuring something on a CMM and they have Pulse included on those machines, mm -hmm. What they're able to do is they're able to essentially monitor the environment. So let's take a typical scenario. CMMs are more susceptible to changes in temperature than in a particular temperature. Right. So we inform them about both things. We tell them it's 24C, 25C, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But we also monitor if that temperature changed over a certain period of time. So for a 7107SF machine, one of our shop floor mm -hmm. machines, I think that you cannot change uh, one cent, I think it's two or three Celsius over one hour. I forgot what the actual uh, parameters are. But those are machine specific parameters we input into Pulse. So Pulse says, okay, temperature changed over one degree over one hour. That's an alert. We need to let you know. You can either react by stopping the machine and waiting until the condition normalizes, or you can do some other things depending how you decide what the reactive system is. If we take that a little bit forward, and we say this is not connected to the cloud, there's no real reaction required from the customer. In essence, we're just gonna let them know something has happened. But what we will do is, is also alert our internal systems that something has happened on the machine. Okay. So there's two ways that you can, how you can basically react to that. One is service calls the customer, says you have an issue in the machine, is there something going on, do I need to show up? Mm -hmm. Or when service shows up, they can look at the history of what happened in the Pulse because Pulse keeps the whole history of all the events that happened in the machine. And they may look, oh, besides the temperature, it looks like you had a crash last week. Is there something that was going on in the machine? You want to mm -hmm. let me know? And then, so we're trying to get more information about the operation so we are also more educated when we go try to fix things. And ultimately, the way that we benefits both us and the customer is machines have 
zero unplanned downtime, which is the big concept we're trying to push right. towards. Now, do we have any release plans for MMS Pulse? Correct. Uh, we just released MMS Pulse version 1.0 okay. just last Christmas. Uh, it's been a, a slow ramp up. We have a few key accounts that are interested in, in deploying it. Mm -hmm. And we're just slowly pushing Pulse into the world nice. to kind of educate customers, put it on a few machines and kind of go from, go from there. The big release for us will come probably sometime in Q2 of next year, which mm -hmm. is a version 2.0 of Pulse, which will have substantially more sensor capabilities. It will be connected to the controller directly, and hopefully it will be our first uh, commercial implementation of a cloud service in combination with Salesforce's IoT Cloud, which is a service they offer that also feeds into our internal Salesforce services. Speaking of cloud, in respect to HMI, Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence, where do you see this IoT cloud technology going in the future? Um, ultimately, everything we make will be connected to something. Mm -hmm. um, we, we have been very cautious because we have this perception that our customers don't want to connect their equipment to the cloud. Mm -hmm. The more we talk to people, and I think there's been a few talks here, our customers want to connect their machines to the cloud, primarily because they want to have a full awareness of production, manufacturing, and everything that goes on mm -hmm. from any place, any time, any device. So if I was to look if we're sitting here in a five years in Hex Live 2021, <laughs> my sus suspicion is that we will talk less about cloud, but about how our machines talk to each other because cloud will just be part of it. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, we'd like to thank our guest, Milan, uh, for more about Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence and MMS Pulse. You can visit hexagonmi.com and to tune into additional episodes of HXGN TV, you can log on to hxgntv.com. Thanks for watching.